I hope you all are keeping fine and I'm really very sorry because for the last uh, couple of days I was very busy with university exams and other works and I couldn't conduct an online class and for that please pardon me and I'm back with uh, the second class of our SciPy that we have started in our last class and it is uh, the second class of the SciPy of the Python programming. So I welcome you back everyone. I hope you all are uh, keeping fine and healthy and uh, have practiced whatever I have taught in my last class. So I hope this uh, window is visible to you all. Just let me know in the chat box, okay? Okay, so you can see I have considered a second order differential equation, in short ODE. And this I have considered a very known expression of damped harmonic motion. Okay, so the damped harmonic motion, this is a second order differential equation. And today I'm gonna to solve this equation in Python using SciPy. And how are we gonna do that? We have to split this very second order differential equation into two uh, first order differential equations. In my previous class, I have shown you how to solve uh, ordinary differential equations. And I have, uh, uh, I guess I have, I remember uh, that I have uh, defined you all the methods and how to solve. And I have given you an example of the radioactive decay of nuclear mass with time. And we have uh, got a beautiful curve. So just the same way, we're going to do uh, two, we're going to solve two first order differential equation, okay? So the first first order differential equation would be dx dt equal to y. And I'm taking that as a function of x, y, and t. And the second uh, first order differential equation uh, that I'm splitting up uh, is that dy dt equal to minus kx minus lambda y. And I'm considering that as a function of g of x, y, and t. So I'm going to solve this uh, second order differential equation using o, d, e, i, and t. And we have to put two initial values in the form of list. So uh, two variables I'll consider, that is x and y, and that is to be put in a list in the argument of ODEINT function. And one important thing you have to keep in mind that ODEINT function cannot take more than three arguments, okay? So let us begin our solve of this damped simple, damped harmonic motion, a simple harmonic motion, okay? So I'm just switching over to my spider view and I hope you'll enjoy today's class as well. And let me know your queries and whatever suggestions you want to provide uh, for a better understanding of your class so that I can uh, uh, adjust according to your uh, timing and all. Okay, some of y'all have said that the timing uh, is a kind of uh, concern for them. So. And just let me know. And one more thing, this online class uh, is being aired in YouTube and you can follow that whenever you wish to, okay? And from anywhere you want to. So uh, I guess it's uh, not an issue for anybody. I'm not uh, deleting the videos and all. It will be there. It will be uh, over there. I'm not going to take off this video. So just be patient and don't worry. You can do your course anytime you want. Okay. 
thank you so just moving on to the spider view okay so i hope this part is visible my window okay so we'll begin our program so first thing we have to uh, write is just name your program so i'll write damped uh, harmonic uh, motion and i'm going to solve this uh, solving with uh, i'll write o d e i n t okay I hope uh, it's quite, so I just uh, zoom in so that is better for you. Okay, now is it clear? Fine. Now, the first thing in every program it is mandatory to do is you have to input the function. So I'm going to import NumPy as NP. And uh, this damped harmonic motion, if you want to see how the nature of the curve turns out to be, you need to import matplotlib. So I'm going to import mat dot lip dot by plot as plt and since we are going to import odint that we have to do from skypy dot integrate so you have to write from skypy dot integrate import what odeint so the import part is over the next thing is that in our previous class i have defined we have to uh, put the values of the parameters we have taken. So over here, the parameters in the equation was k, as you remember, and it was lambda. So I'll put the values of k and lambda, okay? So these are the parameters. Fine. I'm not writing every uh, step to, today in hashtag format. So I'm just uh, giving you the program. You all know what comes afterward. Now the uh, next part is that I have to define the function. So I'll write define SHM. I'll take say u comma t and I'll give the values of x as say u of zero and I'll write y as say u of one okay type according with me and just uh, by the end of the class uh, show me how your graphical nature has turned out to be so the next thing is that i'll now explain the i've taken two first order differential equation i've split it up that second order differential equation into two first order differential equation and the first one was dx dt equal to y so i'll write i'm writing that only and the next one was dy dt is equal to minus kx okay minus k star x and minus lambda y so lambda star Y. okay and this is my defining of the function so i'll write return np dot array and dx dt and dy dt okay so this is it my defining part now i have to put the initial values so i'll write say u of zero so u zero i'll write is equal to i give the initial values as say one comma zero and i'll take say t is equal to i hope you remember this t okay i'm just uh, let me just type it first i'm considering lin space okay uh, why have i considered this t values i hope you remember in my last class when i was doing first order differential equation, I have said that I need to create a T list by NumPy. And what is that? It is the points where we want to know about X. Okay, the points uh, we want to know X. Okay, for, so we have to uh, get this uh, value in the format of list. Okay, initial value of X and the T list. So, so, I'll say consider thousand values. Uh, so I'll take say zero, comma twenty, and say thousand. Okay. Are you following, everybody? 
if you are unable to understand at any step, just stop me there and I'll explain it once again, okay? So solve the solution. I'll write O-D-E-I-N-T and S-H-M, the thing that I'm going to solve and U of zero and T, okay? After that, the final thing you have to write is X is equal to solve of uh, zero and y equal to sol of one fine actually the program is up till over here if you want to see the plotting part then only you have to uh, write this this the last thing that i'm going to write just now that is the plotting section so in order to see the plot you have to write plt dot plot plot of t comma x okay and i can make the axis over here as well plt dot axis if you don't mention this it will take something by default so uh, it is of your choice whether to mention or not I'm just mentioning my part, okay? Axis, I'll write say as zero comma 20 and minus one comma say one, okay? And PLT dot X line, line width I'm considering as say 0.5. These are optionals. You can use, you cannot as well of your choice. So plt.show finally. And this is it. My entire program is done. And you save your program and then run and see how it comes out to be. Okay. So let me just save my program. So I have uh, saved my program, naming it damned SHM SciPy. And now just hit this run button and let us see how it comes. Okay, so you can see the curve over here. It has given me uh, the ranges from 0 to 20 over here. And it's giving a beautiful curve. It's showing a damped simple harmonic motion. Okay. So if you wish to uh, change the axis, you can change the axis labeling and all. I have taken that axis labeling as say is zero, okay? And I've given as minus one to one. So it is showing me over your minus one to one, this axis, okay? And axis line width I have taken as 0.5. You can also vary according to your wish. Suppose if I take this over here as say, say suppose I take it as one and rerun that. Okay, so what are the changes you notice? Okay, it's a bit thick, uh, it's not coming in one frame. Yes, this was my previous one, a bit thinner, and this you can see it's a bit thick. So you can change according to your wish, you can change the color. So the damped harmonic motion curve is obtained. And I hope it is, uh, yes, yes, you can uh, do uh, uh, any um, uh, simple harmonic motion equation, okay? Yes, I'll give you uh, some kind of task and I hope to uh, show you some solves, some basic and some important solves. Like I want to show you the uh, how your Lorentz uh, uh, curve comes out to be. So I wish to see uh, this thing and all. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's class and just revise this part. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. Take care.